Mia St. John is a championship boxer. She's held several world titles, but Mia will be the first to tell you she lost the most important fight of her life, and that was to save her beautiful 24-year-old son, Julian, from taking his own life. Tragically, he was in a treatment center when they found him. Then earlier this year, Julian's father, actor Christoph St. John, was found dead. And now Mia is here fighting to save other people battling mental illness. And um, Mia, it's, it, it's almost hard to believe that your son was in a treatment facility. Right. How did that right. happen? Well, you certainly don't expect it. You know, my son was had schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. um, he was addicted to meth. Um, he was a brilliant artist, um, beautiful child. Um, you would think that he was just a normal child, except that he was very eccentric, mm -hmm. um, very reclusive, um, but he uh, fell into addiction um, to self-medicate. And that's what a lot of people do when they suffer from mental illness. And we trusted a facility that is contracted by our government, by L.A. County Department of Mental Health. So we expected, we thought that there would be transparency. Wouldn't you want to know if you brought your child into a hospital, how many deaths have you, have you had? How many violations? Um, you go into a restaurant, right? Yeah. And you have ratings, A, B, C, D. What if you went into a restaurant and they said, well, We've had a few deaths this week and violations. Um, would you still eat there? Yeah. I mean, it's your right to know. Mm -hmm. So, but we didn't have that that right. We didn't know about any of the deaths or violations um, until after our son had passed. And the fact that he was able to commit suicide in the treatment facility is that almost the message where you know this is an ongoing battle, even it, you know when you're receiving treatment. Yeah, yeah, it's ongoing. I mean, to take your life in a high-risk suicide unit um, where they are supposed to be monitoring him um, regularly um, to not only have missed those um, those monitors but to falsify the records then um, was was just an added blow and that was something that um, Christoph could never really free himself from that that guilt that he felt, and um, that's what I, 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 that's, you know, my message to parents is um, do your due diligence when you're investigating a facility, um, whether it be drug rehab, a mental health facility, um, really do your research and educate yourself. Yeah, and, and you mentioned Christoph, and mm -hmm. he was struggling some, too, with Oh, uh, some 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 demons or oh, Christoph was uh, very depressed. You know, he he suffered from bipolar, mm -hmm. um, and like our son, he would stop taking his meds and start self medicating, mm -hmm. you know, with alcohol, and um, he just could not. Um, there was nothing we could do. I mean, we we tried everything. I mean, the last days of his life, he was in uh, Los Encinas. Um, in Pasadena and was let go while still being suicidal. And so. this has become your personal mission. What is it that you want people to know out there? This is now my fight. It is the most important fight of my life, much more significant than any fight in my boxing career. Um, I want reform of our mental health system, you know, and I want, I want to create a society of love and tolerance for the mentally ill, um, especially the ones that, that we see all over Los Angeles that are, are homeless and suffering. Um, you know, those are, those are like, those are our children, yeah. you know, our, our mothers and fathers, and um, to allow them to suffer on a daily basis with no care, no proper care, yeah. that is, it's inhumane, and how can we, as I mean, like Los Angeles in the United States, right? Yeah. How can we let that happen? Well, thank you so much. You inspire us with your courage and thank you're giving you. people hope. And thank you for the thank work you. that you do, Mia. Thank you so much. Yes. And coming up, Malou.